we're going to demonstrate the difference in user experience between a Phoenix hyperspace system and a Windows Vista system. Rich and I both have a few minutes before our next meeting, and we're going to get some work done during this time. We have an email to look at together. I'm going to open my system and press the power button. And we're both starting at the same time. We're going to cold boot the system. And hyperspace is a wonderful system. It lets me get started with my work in just a few seconds. And Microsoft is showing me a time bar and a black screen. With that, I'm already in hyperspace. And I'm waiting just a few more seconds for Firefox before I can get to my email and get some work done. And now I see a Vista logo. And I can start signing on to Windows. I found the article in my email. Pretty interesting reading. I finally have some color on my screen. And the little icons are starting to appear at the bottom. But I don't even have my clock on my screen yet. While you're waiting for Vista, I'm going to get go ahead and do some work. I have a few emails to answer and some other things to do. OK, now I think I have all my icons up. And I can start opening Outlook. Approved. Yes, I will come. Let's look at what PTEC is doing today. I'm just looking at the Outlook symbol and a blue screen and a little circle of life. You know, hyperspace lets me use all of these web applications pretty easily without having to wait for Windows. I've got some just nice little video on YouTube that I want to go to. Check it out. Outlook's having trouble opening. Perhaps there was something else that Vista had to do before it completed the Outlook task. I can also go seamlessly between hyperspace and Windows with just a click of a button. I, all I have to do is I press F4. And now I have Windows over here, just like you. And I can do all my Windows stuff also at the same time. And while Windows is logging in for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to hyperspace and watch my YouTube video. Finally, I've got Outlook, and I can open Carolyn's email, and I can click on that link. So it's been already been a few minutes. Rich has yet to see the article. I've seen that article, read it, done a lot of email, answered a few appointments, gone over, watched a video on YouTube, gone over to Windows, done a little bit of work over here, and I'm back. And we're just still working on it. Finally, I've got some messages coming up on my screen. What's wrong? Do we not have network here? Uh, let me take a look. Well, I have network on this system. Oh, I see. That's 3G. So hyperspace has this thing called Network Connection Manager. And what it lets you do is it switches over your network to the right network right away. And therefore, I don't have to worry about manually switching networks. I'm always connected. So I have to open this Connection Manager, which is an application that takes a while to initialize. Let me keep. And now it's initializing. And I can click Connect and let it try and find a network. Remember, we've got to go to that meeting, so you better hurry now. OK, finally, I have network. And I can go into my Explorer. And there's the article. So it took me a while, but I finally got there, Gaurav. Well, let's go to the meeting then. You know, I think we should send that article over to Woody. I should send it on to some shareholders. So here, my system turned back on after I changed my mind about shutting it down. I had shut it down, and I turned it back on. And I can use the system right away. I've already sent that mail off. We're I just, just have a, a blank screen. screen. It's going to take me a while to get this done. Well, you, you might as well do some again. more work. It didn't get you. There. Rich, I'm it's going to take you a while. I'm out of here. I'll okay. see you at the meeting. So let me forward that email. And it'll take me a few seconds to do that. And I send that and close up. And now I have to shut my machine down, which also takes me a while. I hit the shutdown button. 
And one by one, it closes off the applications that were open. It's still, now it's taking the widgets off the screen. Now it's going to a blue screen and saying logging off and shutting down. But I still have to sit here and wait while Gaurav is already starting his cappuccino at the meeting. And it still says shutting down, and finally it's gone blank, and I can go to the meeting with Gaurav.